Hey y'all! Oh my god, welcome back. I haven't been on here in so long and I told myself, Marina, we're gonna do this. <laughs> like, what the hell? We've been more consistent and stuff, but honestly, I have so much going on in my life that I'm like, oh my god, how do I even keep up? Like, where do I start? What do I even tell? It's so much. And I haven't even gone giving you guys a tour of my new apartment yet. Oh. Um, but anyway, so by the way, you see it's been a few months since I colored my hair and I love it. I do love it. Like I feel closer to blonde, don't get me wrong, but this is so much fun and I been dreaming about it for years and years to do. So when I actually did it, I was like, oh my God, like first of all, I couldn't believe it. Second of all, like I didn't know how it would look, but third, I have fun with it, but now like I'm ready for something else. I'm not, I don't want to keep this color, you know? So I think like I already made, uh, made an appointment for March, in the middle of March. And I want to see how can we like transition because first of all, I don't want to go all the way back blonde because I still kind of didn't get enough of this, like, you know? Um, but at the same time, like I don't want to keep being red because it's like, first of all, it's like, it's actually more maintenance than blonde hair because when I do blondes, I usually do highlights. This one, I color the whole head. So once it grows out, it grows out everywhere. And I look like, I don't know, it doesn't look, it looks, it looks, it just, mm, I don't know. I just don't like how it looks. But anyway, so I was thinking about keeping this color, but then at the same time, like maybe add something to it. But I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to a hairstylist. I have some ideas. I don't want to share it yet because I'm like, oh, I don't know how it's going to look. Let's see what she says and stuff like that. And I want you to guys see uh, final results. It's going to be something with this, but a little different. Anyway, so the reason why I'm on here is because one of my, the craziest things <laughs> that just happened in my life that I actually almost scheduled a BBL. <laughs> I actually scheduled it. I actually paid for it, but I canceled it last minute. Oh my God, let me tell you guys the story. <laughs> so you know how I've been, first of all, let me show you my body. No, actually, let me give you a story. Sorry, I'm like, oh, where do I start? Okay, so I've been working out for so long. So first of all, I came from a country where people don't find, like, curves too, too attractive. They, like, they lean in toward skinnier type of girls. And so I was always trying to, you know, I was always, like, being skinny, always trying, like, you know, running and doing all my exercises, but mostly cardio. So when I came here and I, like, I saw all these beautiful curves on girls, I'm like, okay, how do I get them? And then that's when, like, my obsession with gym began and I was able to sculpt my body the way I want to, right? Well, big booty. Okay, let me guys show you. Hold on. <laughs> So this is my body right now. You see, I built it in the gym. Okay. This is what I did at the gym. And I love it. I love it. The only thing is like now I want to even it like if I stay straight, like I just want to even it out right here. You know, but it's totally doable. Like, have no stomach at the same time, but matching thighs, everything. Like, you just gotta know what exercises to do, what to eat, and it's super achievable. Okay? <laughs> okay, so this is what I was able to build with the gym. And it's totally possible with the right nutrition, right exercises, super doable. But now, it's like I have that bone structure where I have my hip dips, where no matter how many lunges, no matter, no matter how many hip thrusts, no matter how many uh, step ups, no, may, no matter how many reverse lunges, curtsy lunges, whatever the hell you want, I do, like they don't go away. And they still like, they're still there and they still, like, I just want an evenness in it. So in order to achieve it, like, I wanted to put fat in it and, like, take it, like, from my bag or something like that. So I was actually able to find a doctor. Like, I saw um, there was, like, two doctors that I actually was um, applying for and I was, like, looking into and they did my research. 
and one of them was just like offering like outrageous recovery um recovery um, process it just like it was just too much because the other one i actually like his results better and his recovery process was like um a little different which is like actually interesting too because it varies always from doctor to doctor so like go with whatever you are comfortable with i just love the results that i of the doctor that i found and i was going to fly to la to get it done i already found a person when i would get like stuff done because my boyfriend he actually has like work uh engagement so he can't afford to like do, to to live right now so we were able to find his cousin <laughs> coming and helping me like part of the recovery process because once you do your surgery you have to stay uh next to your doctor for like approximately a week because they want to like follow up with you and make sure you're healing well before they let you uh, get back on your plane. So I was like, okay, I was able to find, okay, so <laughs> I almost booked everything for his cousin. And then my friend was following up. She's actually a registered nurse. She was, she was coming as well to help out to make sure that I'm healing well and stuff like that, because I just wanted to make sure because, okay, so I got my boobs done before, right? And yes it is major surgery but it's not as it is with bbl because bbl is like all around the body you sit on it you like you move with it you do everything with your lower body and especially like abdominal area right so yes it was like painful it was a little bit of a painful recovery but honestly on a friday this is how it was on a friday i got my boobs done on a monday i went to work there is no way in hell <laughs> I would be able to get my BBL done or like surgery done of this extent and then be able to like go to um to work the next day. So was, I wanted to make sure that I have people out there with me in special uh, especially um when I just like you know got it done. So I just wanted to make sure. But so okay, so that was like already set up, everybody was ready to go, stuff like that. And then I spoke to my job and they told me yes, that is fine because at my job they don't have um set like vacation time so basically no set vacation time no uh, no set sick time and so technically as much as you want or need you can take right but i just started there like i literally just started then my co-worker she was coming back from maternity leave so she had to get catch up on everything and then it was just so much to a point where in my head i literally thought i would go to la for a week i will come back stay and recover for additional week and then i would be able to go back full on but you're not able to sit in reality in the recovery process you're not allowed to sit on your butt for at least six weeks right so imagine me out of the surgery out of extensive surgery standing up all day that's even more pressure on your legs and you just touched your you know your 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 bottom half so obviously like there's so much pressure already on your legs and stuff and so now i will have to stay stand up and like work like that and for some reason they were not agreeing to me working from home like for additional like i wanted to do it take two weeks one week in LA, one week recovery time at home, no work, and then additional two weeks work from home only so that I can recover. And then I go out of the office. But because I just started, the co-worker like, of our team, like she's coming back from maternity leave, she had to catch up. We already had such a busy, busy schedule. And when I brought it up, they actually told me that like they wouldn't be able to allow me to work from home for this long and like and be away for this long basically because they just have so many projects going on right so and um yeah and then my boyfriend he already like started his school his job and he just started doing you know doing working on his own goals so it would be so hard like if let's say if i you know come back from la and like recover at home it would be like really hard for him to keep up this you know like let's say i need something and he's like oh he has to do it you know he has to make sure that he own his own goals on track he's he's he has to make sure that he all his own stuff is on track which is completely understandable 
and I respected but so and then it was a work thing and then it was um but mainly like work and then not having too many people because yes I was able to fly out with like some people to LA to look after me but then afterwards I didn't have plan like set up like that to be like I literally thought that I would be able to recover in a few weeks like that but then I started like looking into more and more videos and I see people with complications and I just have like um little problems like with like my legs and like uh and, and stuff like that so it would be I would I would have like a longer recovery than possible it's it's you know nothing wrong is doing it like you know anybody <laughs> sorry guys i was just trying to say that nothing wrong is doing it like i actually wanted to do it for me and i wanted to do it because i just like I, there is nothing i could do that would work this freaking um hip dips you know, I think it was like so many factors at the same time. Like I really wanted to get it done, but at the same time, it was just too many no's. And plus like the work situation, I really didn't want to go back to work and then stand like, you know, a whole day on my legs while I need to recover properly. And because it was just too many no's, like it was like too many, like from too many sides. And I was like, you know what? I think it's not a good time. And I literally canceled it last minute i literally canceled it and uh they didn't return me deposit so anytime like i want to go back i can but just wanted to be honest and transparent with you guys because first of all i hear so many hate comments no i didn't get my ass done i might <laughs> but no um i work hard for it i work hard i eat i eat a lot don't get me wrong i eat a lot um, and I weightlift a lot and that's how I got it. I did get my boobs done and now like I want to even out those hip dips and that's like and I know they're normal and I know they're natural and I know they're beautiful. It's just a thing of mine in my head that I want to just do for myself, you know, and I just wanted to be honest and be like, yo, this is really happening. Just literally like I literally almost went under the surgery. I was going to record everything and stuff and I was gonna like go get it done <laughs> and then they canceled it and um but yeah so i just wanted to share like a little story with you um let me know 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 what type of videos you guys want to hear because i also want to do like a house tour i also want to do like tell you my freaking problems of work because guess what bitch i am freaking changing my job again because freaking ridiculous and then i want to do um i'm coming out with a new product very soon so that would be like really really fun um and yeah so let me know guys if you want to like see anything do anything um yeah thank you so much for watching